<coughs> Namaskar, good morning to all of you. It gives me a great pleasure to be here on this uh, event with the EQ International Solar Tech Conference. This is not a first thing for me, first time for me. I am very often uh, participating in these programs like EQ. I am heading the Indian Solar Association as well as the Rasi Group of Companies headquartered in Bangalore. And we are in the verticals of uh, solar energy as well as IT, and we are into the entering into the manufacturing of the lithium ion battery production, and uh, we are going for the Prime Minister Avaj Yojana scheme, all headquartered from Bangalore. By the way, they introduced me as ex-member of Parliament. People think that okay, Parliament ex-member of Parliament means they might have made a lot of money in politics. It is not like that. We are working hard. We have a concept, uh, Mr. Anand knows that uh, we work hard and uh, make money in business and spend in politics. For example, one event I would like to quote you here, in my earlier days when I contested in Lok Sabha elections, I won with two and a half lakhs highest margin of Tamil Nadu then. Some of my friends are sitting here, they know that, defeating the Madam Jailalita in the elections. This was my political record. This has come because we are all true and honest uh, people recognize that we are in the, from the industry and business community and cleanly hardworking people. Right or wrong, after several years, we could see that a sign of light has come from Modi ji, who is heading now as a global leader for, as an Indian Prime Minister. When he entered in the national level politics, all we merged ourselves and surrendered ourselves from Congress party to BJP long back, hoping that this is the only party and he is the only leader going to do the development and growth of this country to the sky level. All you know, we know very well, things are moving very fast. And uh, first of all, our friend Krishna Sadhar raised uh, one or two questions. The tenure of the Modi government, uh, within the tenure uh, we should complete the target of 100, mega, 100 gigawatts. Here I would like to say, sir, uh, this government headed by Modi ji will continue even after the next general elections also, don't worry. Definitely we will achieve the 100, 100 plus gigawatt or whatever 200 gigawatt. People mandate is going to support Modi ji, it is because of, not only for politics, the way of the working culture, hard working culture today, what is what we are seeing in the country. And uh, he was talking about the reverse bid. Yes, many of the people, uh, they are gained and they are lost also in the reverse bid in the recent past. The cost calculation predicted by some of the corporates for costing the project at the module prices has not fallen down. It has gone high in spite of China producing every year 70 gigawatt of the module capacity production is happening in China. Out of that 50 gigawatt this year, they are going to start their own projects. 20 gigawatt they are aiming to export either to India or UAE or to Africa, wherever the solar projects are happening. The only thing is the government is supporting left and right in China. Many of you might have visited China. You know very well what they are doing, how they are hand to hand supporting the solar projects and any other projects, including the battery production, lithium and battery production also. So today we are in the mid of this. Uh, our government has <coughs> announced and we have to reach the 100 gigawatt target out of that 40 gigawatt exclusively for solar rooftops. However, we are happy to see that in spite of a lot of hurdles, in spite of a lot of drawbacks in funding, drawbacks in technology, drawbacks in manufacturing sector, importing of all the modules, importing of all the cells India has achieved, 20 gigawatts is a very, very remarkable and very highly recorded achievement in our map. Of course, our map to reach 100 gigawatt definitely we are going to reach. I don't know what is the total capacity installed from the Maharashtra government, but generally I know very well Maharashtra is a little bit behind in the target of re re reaching the solar goal. Yesterday also I was discussing with the industry secretary, power secretary, so many other people and some of the ministers I used to meet whenever I go, I used to meet all the bureaucrats as well as the top level leaders because the decision making is coming from the ministers, implementation coming from the bureaucrats. So both has to be united to reach the target, all industries we know very well. At this juncture, I would like to request all of you also to have some kind of access to politics or involved in politics. I used to say always, in the democratic system today, what we are following in this country, politics cannot be your main food. At the same time, politics can be like a salt and a, as a pickle at the leaf. Whenever you want, you can touch. Whenever you want, 
we can use it. This is required for politics. In the recent past, uh, on Sunday 11th, we had the International Solar Alliance inviting about 23 top level leaders and 30 plus uh, other leaders, totally 60 people. They participated from abroad and really hundreds of our ambassadors, embassy people, they attended. In the hall of Rashtrapati Bhavan Culture Center, it was packed with uh, 600 people with all the top levels of the globe, other than China and people from US. The vision of International Solar Alliance forming is most important. Whichever, whatever we have, the natural asset got given 300 days. Sunny days has to be exploited. That's why Modi ji decided to head as International Solar Alliance. That is his brainchild and that is the pet baby for him, which he wants to make it in a group uh, very fast. And we had a center there in NICE to set up this. After two years over, we had a founding day ceremony and come conference. Every of the country, developed country, underdeveloped country, and even the countries which are below the down uh, developed countries also has taken part, including a lot of African countries, South American countries, European countries, everybody neighboring our country like uh, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, everybody participated, you might have seen in the TV. The whole idea to set up this, we should have a common interest, we should have a common funding, we should have a common technology support, we should have the partners across the globe to strengthen both for the mutual benefits of India and as well as for the neighboring and participating countries. When we talk about global, global level development, we should talk about our Indian development also. Yes, there are some plus and minus, there are some setbacks, there are some positive things in the solar energy for the past six, seven years. We are watching it, we are involving it. For example, even our Tamil Nadu also, today we are reaching about uh, two gigawatt in the solar energy. There were a lot of doldrums before certain period. Now after joining with the Uday scheme, many of the discounts are coming as a positive in making the payments and meeting the requirements of the solar bidders. Of course, the reverse bid has uh, brought down for 2.44 in the solar energy segment, thinking that solar modules will come down, not happen now. It may happen sometimes today, the solar module price, everybody knows in India and abroad, it is 35 plus, 38 plus, 33 plus. It is coming down further. I had an interaction with a lot of international companies from China, Korea, Malaysia and all. We hope that during the second quarter, third quarter, definitely the price will fall down. The commitment, whatever the corporate, the big companies given to the government, including SB Energy, including a lot of uh, big players, definitely they will honor the commitment, they will go for this tariff. But of course, when we talk about this tariff, when we talk about the reverse bid, when we talk about the low cost uh, tariff, we should be aware of the low cost funding which is not available in India, which the government is aggressively working. In the recent past, in the ISA conference, uh, there was some, there were some bankers like ADB, even uh, World Bank, even European Investment Bank, even NDB, a new bank, and some of the other African banks also. Here also I invited one of the African banks to come here to meet us by afternoon. It is called First Rand Bank from Africa. Like that, many of the banks, many of the institutions, uh, and uh, Clean Energy Fund, all these people, they have taken part in Delhi, in ISA. The whole idea is to support how to access the low cost funding? India, today we don't have the low cost funding. All our Indian banks, commercial banks, private banks, they are operating at the higher rate of interest, which is not suitable for the solar projects when we commit for the low tariff. So, from the Indian Solar Association, we are fighting for two, three important issues. Number one is to avoid this anti dumping. Number two is to avoid the safeguard duty. Number three is to kindly make it clarification on the customs duty for the import of modules. There should not be any hurdles. Recently, 4,000 containers have been held up in all the ports. This is not a good sign for the industry we represented. And there again, we are asking the clarification in GST. Whether it's a 0%, 5%, you must, you must clarify it and put it definitely. We are talking with various RK Singh Minister, every of the body which is involved, MNRE, Seki, and everybody, we are keep on discussing to streamline and finalize. There should be some kind of stipulated permanently what is the tariff and what is, sorry, what is the custom duty, what is the GST. This has to be defined immediately. This has created uh, for the past three to four months when announcement has come for safeguard duty, every of the countries uh, exporters like China and all, they have been alert and uh, instead of uh, we are asking them, they immediately they raise the prices saying that their policy on prices has gone high, so they are increasing the module prices. Today it is on a changed way, after all the government has stopped talking on all these issues. So it is making some clearances, it is creating reconfidence among the developers and investors across the globe to support for Indian projects. In the recent ISA, Delhi, nobody raised their voice about anything on the safeguard duty or the anti-dumping. 
because some interested verticals from the government side and the private sector they created this issue now we said that whatever it is happening you should control it you should uh, make it amicably settled there cannot be any penalization on after the tenders are rolled out after the pps are signed this is one side we got a success everybody knows that immediately there is no any threat on imposing on safeguard duty or the anti dumping you can take it as assurance from the association from the ministry so people those who committed the solar project whatever the tariff they can go without any threats even people like lanji i i believe somebody has come from lanji or they are going to come these people are number one quality manufacturer they achieved the efficiency 23.6 under cells which is very very remarkable development this company has uh, yeah, already committed they are going to start a 1 gigawatt cell and module production why i want to say is when you talk about the demand indian requirement is about 20 gigawatt demand of modules every year what is the production capacity we have a, not even one fourth of that the installed proper capacity and the qualities has to be strengthened manufacturing technology has to be strengthened for the manufacturer in india we had a wonderful meeting with the, both the manufacturers and as well as the developers all our indian companies so we said that because of your development because of you you want some incentives and you cannot uh, spoil the developers or you cannot damage the developers so we handled very balanced way we asked the government to find out a solution so manufacturers also to be supported with the low cost funding with the reduction of the cost of the import duty and the uh, involvement of the technology where our government is not so far showing much interest whether r and d or technology development our government is not fully involved a lot of various technologies available which are challengeable to the chinese technologies we can bring it to the country now only we are trying to focus on the lot of central of excellencies lot of knowledge based centers we have to create for this module technology and cell technology whether a polysilicon or a kind of ingot or wafer we should involve ourselves we cannot live under the mercy of chinese or korea we know very well but at the same time at the cost of this the developer those who are already in the development cannot be penalized or damaged this one the stand the international sorry our indian solar association has taken so i would always request the government to consider for the special institution funding for funding either a bank or some other institution our today demand is with the government and the financial institution including the finance minister and all the banks renewable energy particularly the solar has to be funded with a free flow below 7% rate of interest for INR and we are asking the government to create a hedge funding suppose if we are accessible if the banks are accessible for any foreign currency loan the hedging cost is a question so 50% of the hedging cost to be shared with the government of India to be created through this hedge funding the whatever the fund so far up reached by uh, achieved by the government for the sis on the clean technology from other developers from coal mining other other people or fossil fuel companies has not been infused in the solar technology or not been infused in the solar project so we are asking government you divert such funds for the development of r and d divert <coughs> such funds for creating of the center of excellences so this is all one side is happening the other side still we are in a very greeny picture into solar i would like to request all of you whether you are having a existing project or participating in the next bid are going to come in the near future definitely there is a good future and there is a good support from the government of india no doubt modi ji is going to form the next government also there is no threat even whichever the government comes also they cannot go back from the road map of the solar because we are the leaders in that so by keeping all this in your mind today 100 gigawatt 40 gigawatt of the rooftop 20 20 40 gigawatt of the parks government is planning to create already 20 gigawatts parks has been created so all these things are going to support for the solar energy we see that what is happening for low cost funding and as well as the uniformity in the pps we are asking the government to come for a uniform policy for the solar pps and the solar tariff according to the radiation available and the uniform ppa throughout the government throughout the country taking the federalism into consideration and take the support of the existing discounts and convert into profit making then only the global investor will come to invest here otherwise each and every state policy is something something talking on lc something talking on uh, escrow something talking on a deferred payment something one year payment is spending like that it is going to create a lot of confusion among the people those who wants to come here from the global investor this is what in our mind we know what are the problems renegotiation of the ppa should not happen 
once again it should not uh, create any kind of doubts among the investors this is what the people are looking on india so now it is a very significant uh, remarkable program what we had in the recent past these are sent the signals across the globe that india is heading india is uh, going ahead and it is going to support all the developing and underdeveloping countries also for funding mutually created some thousand billion they are aiming and thousand gigawatt they are aiming across the countries uh, under the international solar alliance we should be playing a major role after all creating 100 gigawatt in our country all you should be the stakeholders for this kind of uh, projects and i used to say in all my people those who meet me you are having a pension scheme after retirement or something for your family for your kind of uh, future better to invest in the solar at least going to have about 25 years uh, a assured repayment from the government side this is to be <coughs> created the awareness and all we should work together for reaching this goal and uh, once again i would like to thank our eq international they are the people playing a major role we have a government agencies we have the private sector who has to bridge people like media eq international they are playing a major role in this country for the seven years you see that every of the important message important news across the globe first is flashed in the eq international i am not praising you he is not my relative or something i am telling the truth there are other magazines like pv tech or anything they are very slow it is our indian origin magazine which is exclusively supporting for the renewable energy i am regularly going for that and we have to support these hands we have to support them thinking that uh, only they are uh, going for a small few conference and all no by making these small events like this 50 hundreds i request them to go for an annual conference in the short span of time where i assure i will get the support from the government also so far the government is thinking that eq international only a magazine publisher so i want to involve them as a part of the government as a media partner for the future in all the government projects i will work for that Ms. Anand Gupta, I support you for all your efforts taking. And last meeting I was telling about the technology. Yingli has announced a 12 bus bar immediately. These people are flashing it. Today, Lanji 23.6 efficiency record immediately it is flashed. Even any drawbacks also they are immediately flashing. So such kind of awareness, such kind of importance, knowledge, infusing the knowledge among the developers, among the people involved in the manufacturing is needed, need of the hour. So many of the people, like us also, we go through every day what is what UK says in the morning, what UK says in the evening. If we miss, we are seeing at the weekend day what is the whole week. This is most important for any project developer, any any industry list. I was participating in various financial institutions in Tamil Nadu and I was uh, involved in SIDBI, molding of SIDBI also. We happen to be the working capital assessment committee members also. These are all happened beyond, before going to parliament. I was representing the parliament in the committee of finance, railways, and as well as defense. So we know what our country is doing, what we are going ahead, where we are going ahead. How our uh, surrounding countries are supporting today India. It is not only US, not only US, Russia, every country is uh, targeting to support on India on technology development. So we must use this, all the facilities. And uh, lastly, one point I want to mention. Uh, yesterday, we had a wonderful discussion with uh, New India Insurance Company. For the past two years, uh, ISA is working with a lot of insurance companies to give a coverage for solar developers, solar projects for the concept of generation guarantee. Out of 300 days, any days goes beyond our control because of the natural calamities or any kind of drawbacks. It has to be covered with the insurance <coughs> scheme. All these companies like PACC, CPIC from China, they are not supporting. Of course, we brought now Minicri, Sisri, all other companies, uh, they are supporting this uh, concept as a reinsurance company. We worked out a model, now IRDA has uh, approved this. Already private uh, insurance companies like HDFC, they, uh, they rolled out this. To strengthen more and more, our PSU companies are coming forward. We are going to launch this new insurance scheme shortly in Delhi, where EQ will be as a media partner for this program also. I am announcing this year, it is going to happen. You wait for another 15 days to 30 days it will be more attractive to create the confidence for the solar power developers any kind of drawbacks any kind of setbacks happen after the generation it has to be covered by the insurance companies today we have the coverage only for performance of the equipments performance of the 
epcs we don't have this coverage already western countries are having china is having so we want to introduce we want to bring this insurance coverage let us go ahead let us see that solarizing is happening throughout the country as pan india level pump sets we are talking schools we are talking malls we are talking all these require the solar power generation we need a mega scale manufacturing i had a discussion yesterday with the industries department of maharashtra how to bring the integrated solar fab in maharashtra they say sir incentives uh, we have only 10000 crores investment they have got some kind of 20% investment they don't have for other incentives from government of india to go for mcs now we are working another method to come out from the mcs clutches all we know that uh, including any big companies from uh, from the period of moser bear they could not be approved for getting the incentives of mcs it has become a dead asset for us so we are restructuring and re modifying it what we recently insisting the ministry of finance and renewable energy we don't want to see that two ministers are involved in getting the granting the subsidy or the incentives to mnri is is mnri so mnri should uh, give the subsidy for us for industries development i cannot go to the it ministry or i cannot go to the how uh, hr ministry to get the subsidy or the incentives like that uh, renewable energy should be supported from the mnri we are working on that now some of the scientists are involved in developing the technology under mnri so energy storage is going to take place ev is going to take place all you are welcome to invest into solar invest into battery technology i am not asking you to go for the car manufacturing or the bus manufacturing already big players are there the cell technology assembling technology for the solar sorry for the lithium batteries are available and you can take part on that every of the developer has to be recognized with their privilege and prestige i believe eq also will play a major role in all these segments all my other the developers all my other friends sitting on the dais hopefully they may agree of whatever the suggestion i have given and we look for a unified support from everyone there was a demand from solar power developers on the rooftop before i was entering the conference room they say that the ignorance is there they are not giving importance for mnri for the rooftop developers there is no any priority for given them my dear friends i will assure you next week when i met rk singh or mnri secretary anand kumar we will request them to allocate a separate officer and mnri either the level of joint secretary or under secretary to support and to give importance for the small rooftop players also under mnri scheme with this let me conclude the dialogues any kind of uh, debate any kind of uh whatever the re uh, request from your side we are ready to always support you and help you with this let me conclude the speech thank you very much jai hind